Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out of here for a first look. Some new stuff got in from our friends over at Brownells, as well as Ridgeline. We'll go ahead and start with stuff from our friends over at Brownells. They came up with, or geez, that sharp. Came up with some pretty cool stuff a while back when they came out with their BRN 180. And with that, they've kind of, some people are so pissed, like, I can't believe you used that knife for that. Don't care. But they basically continued that line, originally coming out with 556, and then 300 blackouts, and then this guy right here, which is there, I believe, 10 and a half inch. Ta da! Damn it! I feel like I did that before. Not learning. All right. So, if you're wondering, that is how you disassemble this thing for maintenance, which I don't know if I've ever done to mine. Boom, all better. 762 by 39 is where I was going before that came apart on me. So, basically in a partnership with, with partnership with PWS, they ended up making these Buren 180s. So modeled after the after Stoner's AR18 piston system, which you saw some of that as it flew out. And yeah, they're pretty cool. And I'm excited this one, again, being in 7.62 by 39. So I should probably throw an optic on this guy real quick, which to that end, to the question, is there such thing as too cheap of an optic? The answer is probably yes, and it's probably this thing. But we're going to try it. I want to say it's like a $30, $40 red dot made by a company called Pinty. Guess, yep, you're right, China. And yeah, it's pretty much the only optic I've ever seen not made of aerospace aluminum. Like, what, 6065, whatever it is. And yeah, it's actually made out of an aluminum that they largely use for, like, hand railings and stuff. Like, I want to say the properties on it are... Hey, this is good for weather resistance rather than strength. So that's a thing. But it was sitting there in a box and we need to put something on this so we can shoot this cold start. So throw this on real quick. Definitely a moment there where I thought this thing might be dead out of the box, but it needed the battery that was in the box. So we're gonna need a way to carry ammo. One of these days I should probably review these. They're MDOM, I believe, IAP, immediate access pouch. Probably one of the best mag pouches, but we got these from Ridgeline. It's their drop. Basically, I forget what the acronym stands for right this second. I will get it for you in a moment, but it essentially is a way to carry a magazine pouch and it kicks it away from your body. So if you're wearing body armor, things like that, or maybe you're not the most fit person in the world, 
it makes it easy for you to access your magazines. So I have this one here, we'll set up this other one, and then get them mounted on this belt real quick. All right, have those on there. On the back of these, they have the Blade Tech, Tech Lock, I believe is what it's called. And you can kind of size these out to your belt. For my part, using this, it's, uh, haven't finished my review on it as of filming this. It's a core belt. It's like their battle belt. Has some pretty cool features built in. But I will throw this guy on here. Boom, have these guys set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get some mags jammed and get after this Rune Nation cold start. Right here, a couple magazines loaded up. Eight rounds, five yards away. Let's see what we get. Off to an amazing start. Okay, already over that shit. And as a side note, ah, it basically ejects them with a fair bit of force straight in your knuckles if you're, if you're ejecting them manually. So, it might be an issue of this lower not having enough spring power I mean, we could blame the ammo because it's Russian steel case, but it's supposed to eat that. So either there's not enough spring tension in this lower or the firing pin is not long enough. But I didn't bring another lower, so not how I wanted this to end. To be continued. brief 24-hour intermission back out here this time with a different lower this has a Geisley super dynamic enhanced trigger in it pretty known quantity as far as like actual trigger spring and stuff like or hammer spring rather so we're gonna give this cold start another go all right magazine eight rounds Couple more reloads and let's do this live. All right, now we'll do it live.
Nailed it. 75.32. Well, I think we're getting enough spring action. It might be set to suppressed, so that should be addressed. I will say, I feel like on this little optic, there was a staggering amount of offset as far as where I needed a hold. But that had nothing to do with whatever was going on with this. I just tried switching the gas port, it did, or gas setting, did not magically fix it. And then I just switched it back and shot these rounds. Not sure what's happening. Let me go ahead and jam up some more mags, get this thing zeroed, and see if I can get a shooting without any stoppages. Okay, so it's not totally in my head. I just benched this thing, holding right here at like 15 yards, making sure I'm on paper before I push it back. Three rounds down there. Jeez, we need to come up and right a little. Well, I got this thing zeroed, so there's that. But here's the thing, don't really want to spend a second morning out here just troubleshooting. I'm not sure. It could be the magazines. I'm gonna reach out to these guys and find out if this is a isolated incident. And in the interim, gonna get this thing off because it's pretty blasty, 762 by 39 out of, I think it's 10 and a half inch. Put a can on there because there is a suppressed setting and why shoot unsuppressed if you can shoot suppressed? So we will see what happens to be continued. As far as these things, I think they're pretty cool, especially I imagine if I start wearing them with armor to include any type of side plates or anything where, yeah, you just need to get access. Or if I put on like 40 pounds, they'll also come in handy. But as I put in more time, with all of the things, I'll bring you guys a full review. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.